Hello friends, I am Dr. Rahul Gilkarni. I am working as a consultant medical oncologist at Pune. So as it is quite clear from the term oncologist, we deal with all types of cancer cases day in and out. And while doing so, we notice that most of our patients are still not completely aware about what exactly do we mean by cancer or how it is treated or what are the benefits of cancer treatment modalities rather than the side effects which they are afraid of. And as a result of that, most of the patients are confused because of various misunderstandings and misconceptions, fear of treatment, and ultimately they get misguided and lose the golden chance of getting cured. So that is exactly the purpose of this cancer awareness video series, that is to make the general public or population aware about what is the basics of cancer, how it can be treated, and most importantly, how and whom to approach for proper cancer treatment, and also to help to understand and know their cancer specialist in detail. So let us first begin with understanding what do we exactly mean by cancer. So as all of you must be knowing that our human body is made up of various organs and each organ is made up of different kind of cells. Under normal circumstances, this cell undergoes a definite cell cycle and as a result of this, there is a controlled fashion, degeneration and regeneration of the cells. But if there is any defect in the formation of the cell, then the cell cycle is halted at that particular point and the defective cell is destroyed by the human body. In some circumstances, this defense mechanism becomes defective and sometimes this defective cell can undergo uncontrollable and rapid proliferation to form a bunch of defective cancer cells which are not efficient in performing the normal functions of the human body. Also, these defective cells can spread to other parts of the body and also can affect the functions of these different and distant organs. That is exactly what we call it as cancer. Now this cancer can be of many different types depending upon the site of involvement or the organ of origin or the type of cell from which the cancer has arised. Also different people may have different types of cancers and also the behavior of cancer is dependent upon the type of organ involved or the type of cell from which the cancer has arisen. And that is very important for all of you to understand that never compare cancers between two different people because you may not be knowing what is the exact type of cancer that patient is having or what is the stage at diagnosis of cancer and exactly what can be the outcome in that particular patient. That is a very common problem which we face in uh, when, when we are dealing with the cancer patients that most of the people have a misconception or misunderstanding that some particular patient had a different type of outcome or had very uh, hazardous side effects of chemotherapy and because of that they are very hesitant to take the cancer treatment in their own patients. But that is not the case if they are comparing the cancers, even same type of cancers in two different patients can be different and can behave, can behave differently. So that is a very wrong practice to do and please don't do it in that way. So uh, after uh, confirming the diagnosis, now let us understand how do we proceed for treatment of cancer. So after confirmation of the diagnosis, the next immediate step is proper staging of cancer. And staging of cancer is done by various scans like most importantly PET CT scan or conventional CT scans or even MRIs. Now by doing these scans, we understand to what extent these cancers has spread to the body and which other organs are involved in the body. And depending upon those staging findings, we can then stage the cancer from stage 1 to stage 4. Now by stage 1 and stage 2, we mean to say that the cancer is still localized. Stage 3 means the cancer has spread little ahead, that is it is locally advanced. And by stage 4 means that the cancer has already spread to the distant parts of the body. So after the diagnosis is confirmed and proper staging is done, the next step in the cancer management is defining the intent of treatment. Now by meaning intent of treatment, we mean to say that before starting the treatment, we decide whether the patient is going to be treated by curative intent that is we are planning to eradicate the cancer from its root or by a palliative intent. Now by palliative intent means that are we going to reduce the tumor burden and reduce the symptoms of the patients only. Now obviously the curative intent of treatment becomes possible if cancer is detected at the early stages that is before it has spread to the other parts of the body. So most of the cancers which are in stage 1, stage 2 and most of the stage 3 cancers can be treated with a curative intent. On the other hand, if the cancer spreads to the other parts of the body or it becomes stage 4, then it becomes practically impossible to eradicate the cancer cells from each and every organ which is involved. So cure becomes little difficult. And so in such cases, we treat the patients on palliative intent 
with systemic treatments like chemotherapies. But having said this, it is not a generalized statement. Many of the stage 4 cancers like lymphomas, choriocarcinomas or even some gynecological cancers can even be cured in stage 4 with newer advanced chemotherapy mo treatment modalities. And also nowadays various other recent treatment modalities like advanced radiation techniques, good surgical uh, treatment modalities and newer and newer chemotherapy drugs have made it possible for some of the solid organ cancers as well which are spread to very limited sites and in limited organs and even such kind of cancers can now be cured if they are treated properly and if you are able to address this limited metastatic sites. But obviously we have to treat such cases on case to case basis and they need a detailed discussion uh, of uh, the cancer experts belonging to all the three specialties that is surgical oncology, medical oncology and radiation oncology. So whenever a curative intent of treatment is planned, it requires definite localized treatment options like curative complete surgery or aggressive radiation treatment modalities. So basically surgery and radiation are forms of local treatment options. Also sometimes it has to be supplemented by systemic treatments like chemotherapy which is given either before these local treatment options like surgery and radiation so as to make this surgery or radiation feasible or sometimes it can be given after the surgery to reduce the chances of recurrence. If the treatment is palliative that is in advanced settings we need to give systemic treatments like chemotherapy because at this stage that is in advanced stages surgery or radiation are generally not advisable because we will not be able to address the cancer cells which are spread to each and every organ of the body. So by giving chemotherapy we actually administer a medicine which is given either intravenously or intramuscularly or orally and which acts on the rapidly dividing and proliferating cancer cells and it kills the cancer cells ultimately reducing the tumor burden and reducing the symptoms of the disease. So we will be discussing in detail about the principles of chemotherapy and the details about chemotherapy in the subsequent videos. So by now you must have understood that cancer is a very heterogeneous disease and it needs to be treated very uniquely with lot of precision and lot of inputs from various treatment uh, modalities like surgical oncology, medical oncology and radiation oncology and each of these cancer specialists has a definite role to play. And that is exactly the reason why oncology has now developed as a super specialization branch over and above the specialized fields like medicine and surgery so that we provide our patients the best latest and evidence based treatment guidelines for the best possible treatment outcomes. And interestingly oncology is one of the most rapidly advancing fields of medicine where the management guidelines, treatment principles of surgery, radiation and chemotherapy are constantly updated almost every 3 months and newer and newer chemotherapy drugs or newer targeted drugs are being added into the armamentarium of treatment modalities of cancer. And we as cancer specialists also need to keep ourselves updated of this latest information so that we provide the world class treatment modalities for our patients. So that is it I hope in this first video I have given you a basics about cancer what do we mean by cancer and what are the various treatment modalities which are available for cancer. In the next video we will be seeing about the basics of cancer education system in our country and what is the need for this cancer specialized training and that will help you to understand and uh, to know how to approach or whom to approach for the cancer treatment and also will help you to know your cancer specialist better. Thank you.